Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I just have a few of the glitters from my glitter boutique candle haul that I wanted to share with you guys. I know I said I was going to do it, but like I ended up having to film some other stuff and I finally said, okay, time to sit down and share these with you. So because I did buy such a big amount of glitters, I'm not doing it all in one video. I'm going to actually split it into two. So if you'd like to see the ones that I'll be sharing in part one, go get something to snack on and stay tuned. So in total, there were 30 glitters. <laughs> 30 glitters. I realized that I bought a duplicate, so I'll put that one aside and I'll try to do like a future giveaway. So yeah, I think I'll start doing that. Just things that I may not use as much or I know I might not get much use out of. I'll do like a giveaway for you guys. So once I have enough stuff, I'll let you guys know, but that's what I'll be doing going forward. As I was saying, there are 30 glitters in total. I picked 15, so we're going to start with these 15, and then I will do a second video with the remaining 15 because I just don't want this video to be super, super long. <laughs> so let's get started with these first 15 glitters. So the first glitter I will be sharing with you is called Bubble Bath. And as you can see, it is such a very pretty, fun pink glitter it is a mix of different pinks as you can see there's some light pinks there's like some iridescent shift there is some darker pinks i think this would have been super cute and perfect for the bar movie As you can see it's quite full you do get a lot of glitters in these packets so i really appreciate that like some of them i can fill the entire jar some of them i'll have a little bit left back so for example bubba bat i do have some left back not a whole lot but a good set still and it's not like i would run through this super super quick anyway and here is what bubba bath looks like super super pretty and just look at how stunning this is. And here is bubble gum against my skin tone. Again, as you guys know, I really don't care for pinks like that. Just not my cup of tea, but I know some of my clients are absolutely going to love this glitter. So next up is this beautiful 0.4 millimeter glitter. So this one is called Chameleon Blue Aqua. I don't know if you guys can see, but it does have like a shift in it from blue to like a very aqua color. It is very, very pretty. This glitter is fine enough that it could be used for sugaring or it can be used for encapsulation as well. But here it is. Oh, this is so beautiful. And this gets like, when I see blues like this, I'm not going to lie. It reminds me of like winter snowflake nails. I know we're still in fall, but I'm not going to lie. Toronto kind of feels like it's getting winter early and it's going to be very dangerous outside. And I'm not, I'm not ready for it, guys. So here is the chameleon. 0.4 millimeter chameleon um chameleon blue aqua glitter sorry i had a brain fart there as you can see like this one i actually don't like the bag's empty because this one is such a finer glitter it actually holds the entire contents from the bag in the little jar here and i love this like i love this it is so pretty i love blues like this guys i think they're so beautiful and of course you know <laughs> i got some glitter all over the place but that's okay me being silly <laughs> was gonna try and pat this into the swatch stick ignore the pink glitters that was <laughs> from bubble gum and I forgot to clean out my thing, so now there's slight pink glitters. But anyway, <laughs> guys, here we have the Chameleon Blue Aqua 0.4 millimeters. And look at how pretty 
that is can you imagine this on an like just encapsulated and then doing some like snowflake nails on top of it so gorgeous next up we have chameleon blue aqua with some bubble gum in it <laughs> i still can't believe that happened but like this is such a beautiful glitter. Like this really screams winter and Christmas nails. I absolutely adore this. It is so pretty. And in real life, like I'm getting a true like sapphire blue. Love it, love it, love it. Next love up, it. I have another chameleon 0.4 millimeter um, color shifting glitter. So this one is green copper. And as you can see, like this one, okay, I can get the shift a lot better for you guys. When I shift it like right in here, you guys can see the green. And obviously you can see the copper down here. I believe I have this one along with the aqua, but I have it in the larger glitters. But these ones I love again. This is so gorgeous for fall. So even in the jar, you can see like how the light reflects off of it. You can see the shift from the brown to the green. Very, very perfect for fall. I mean, of course, again, you can use this any time of the year. But I just think it's such a beautiful fall glitter. And this one was, again, another one where I basically filled the jar with all the contents in the bag. And here's chameleon green, copper shift. So, so beautiful. I was smarter about it this time, guys. I just poured it in because I remembered how fine these glitters are. <laughs> and here's chameleon green copper against my skin tone. Oh, this is like, this is like such a pretty fall glitter. Like it is really, really nice. The green is a bit brighter than my camera's picking it up to be, but like, I'm so glad that you guys are getting the copper undertone too and the green, but what a great glitter to add to your collection. So the second last chameleon glitter <laughs> I have to share with you guys. Yeah, I got a few of them because, you know, chameleon glitters are so much fun, especially with the color shift. It's really, really nice. So this one here is called chameleon silver pink in 0.4 millimeters maybe when i pour it out i'll be able to get more of the silver but my camera is really capturing the pink if you guys weren't sure all of the 0.4 millimeter glitters are actually little tiny 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 hex glitters so 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 cute this one again my camera is picking up more of the pink shift Again, my camera is picking up more of the pink, but in real life, I'm getting both shifts from the silver and the pink. I don't know if you guys can see it. The silver kind of almost looks like a yellowy gold, but I promise you, like, that is the silver. <laughs> I emptied all of the glitter from in the bag straight into this pot, so I don't have any extra left. But again, these are so fine. Like, I don't see you really going through them super, super quickly. Well, I don't see myself going through them super quickly anyway. And here we have Chameleon Silver Pink. Ugh, guys, this is so pretty. You know what this would be perfect too for? Valentine's Day. I know we're not there yet, but I'm just going to put it out there. This would be a very nice glitter to use on a set, on a design for Valentine's Day. Again, my camera is really like pulling that pink. I really wish the silver would show a bit more for you guys. Oh my gosh, even doing that, the pink still shows more. <laughs> and this is Chameleon Silver Pink against my skin tone. Again, like, I really wish my camera would pick up more of the silver. But any of that, like, goldish looking shift, that is a silver glitter. So I think it's just my lighting that's pulling in a bit more goldy silver. But still fun and beautiful nonetheless. And the last, I promise, is the last Chameleon Glitter, guys. Okay. I love chameleon glitters, but it's the last one 
for this video anyway who knows what the future holds <laughs> but the last chameleon glitter i have to share with you this one is called the chameleon teal or purple and guys the shift with this is beautiful like when I tilt it, you can see some of the blue in this area, but when I tilt it this way, you're getting more of the purple in this area. I just love chameleon glitters. They're so much fun. Ooh, even in this shot, you can see like the teal, you can see the purple. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It becomes like overwhelming. It just becomes overwhelming. And here is Chameleon Teal Purple. Oh, this is so beautiful, guys. I just love shifty glitters. I know they're not for everyone, but like they can also really vamp up a look if you use it as a background for nail art. Like the possibilities are endless with these. And here is Chameleon Teal Purple. Uh, this is so pretty. I, again, this would make for a very nice glitter to use for like the winter months just because of that teal as well. And I'm pretty sure you could pull it off even though the teal shifts to purple. All right. So now we're moving into the hex glitters. So this beauty, I mean, guys, no, let's let's take some appreciation for this first. Look at how beautiful this is. Perfect autumn or fall glitter. So this one is called cinnamon. This one has copper and deep red multi-size hex shaped glitters. So if you can see, you've got some chunkier glitters. You've got some smaller hex glitters. There are some holographic glitter in here as well. Super, super beautiful glitter. So with this one, as you can tell, I did get a lot of glitter in the pot. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but there is still a bit of glitter in here. So again, like you get a good amount of glitter in these bags. I absolutely love that. But look at the way it reflects in the light, guys. Such a stunning glitter. Like this is so gorgeous. And here is cinnamon. Ugh so stunning like i just love how this looks and it gives you like an idea of what it would look like if it was to be encapsulated as well and this is cinnamon against my skin tone guys look at how beautiful this glitter is i love this so much and i usually like again browns aren't really my thing it's very hit or miss for me but like the brown and the red and like the holographic that pulls a bit orange sometimes very very fall-esque and I love it this is a coffee bean and coffee bean is a as the name states coffee bean brown hex glitter this has some holographic properties to it now again remember I just said I don't really lean towards brown but this brown I really really like and I think it's a great addition to my collection especially for like fall or like brown scents <laughs> And again, as you can see, I do have a good set of glitter left back. I just love how this reflects in the light. I think it is so, so beautiful. And here we have Coffee Bean. Just look at how beautiful this brown is. Like, look at that. This is so stunning, guys. Again, a great addition to have in your collection if you don't have anything like this. And here we have Coffee Bean against my skin tone. This is such a lovely brown glitter. Like the hollow in this is really, really strong too. This is called Desire. And Desire is a hexagon shaped purple. There's some burgundy tones in here. And it is, I was, it looks silver guys, but it actually is like white gold glitter very 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 pretty of course you know i would have gotten this just because there's purple in it 
I can't deny it. I love the color. Like, I don't know, it's sickening, but I love it. <laughs> And again, as you can see, I do have a good set of glitters left back from Desire. So again, like when I say it's totally worth it, guys, totally, totally worth it. And here we have Desire. Like my light is really picking up that white gold and I really, really like that because I can like really show you guys like the mixture. I think the white gold gives it like a nice dimension as well. Next we have Desire look at how pretty this is too oh my gosh this is such a stunning glitter this one, i think this would be really nice for new year's eve as well like i know we still have some time before but it's always nice to plan ahead and you guys know that of course i would have to get at least like one solid purple glitter and of course i did that i'm in love with this glitter so much this one is called Dreamland. This is a pale purple and it has some copper tones in there as well. And this one is a dot glitter. Usually you guys have been seeing hex glitters, but this one is a dot glitter. Somehow I managed to buy two of them. How did I accomplish this? I don't know, but I know I will put it aside and start to build up like some stuff for a giveaway. And then in the future, I will do a giveaway for you guys. So. It's okay. It all work out. Holy smokes. I thought this was gorgeous in the bag. You guys, this is so pretty out of the bag. And I'm probably biased because again, my favorite color is purple, but I am absolutely loving this. And here is Dreamland. Guys, come on. Like, tell me this purple does not look amazing. Like, the pale purple, the burgundy notes. I think it just went together so beautifully. This is such a fun glitter for me. I absolutely adore this. And here is Dreamland. I love 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 uh, this purple it is so beautiful guys like and i love the different shades of purple that's in it and then the burgundy as well just makes it a perfect glitter for me i believe i used these on my birthday set if you guys haven't seen the short in regards to that i have that link for you but i'll also try to remember to put in a picture of what my birthday nails this year looked like okay so next i have these two glitters that I've been dying to get my hands on and I've been seeing like a lot of people do it. I don't know if it's as popular as it was before but this is one of those flash glitters. So this one is cinnamon and this one is the 0.1 millimeter fine glitter. This is like even more perfect for sugaring and you can use this for encapsulation as well. So so stunning. This one is more of a like muted red without the flashlight but with the flashlight it's supposed to show like a very bright red. <music> Okay, let's see. Oh, that's so cool. So using like the flash from my phone. Oh, wow. So here is cinnamon flash without, you know, any flashlight or anything. And then here's cinnamon flash with the light. Like, look at how vibrant that red comes across. It's so cool. And just so sparkly, my goodness, guys. And this is cinnamon against my skin tone. This is so pretty, guys, even without, like, the super blingy version of it with the flash. Nice. Oh, this would make a really nice fall glitter, too. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even for around Christmas, it would still be a wonderful glitter to use. 
And of course, you guys should know if there was going to be a flash color glitter in anything close to purple, I'm gonna buy it. And that's what I did. So this one is one of the flash glitters. This is like the only other flash glitter I got because I was like, I kind of want to just get two colors, play around with them and see. I haven't even played around with them yet and I'm already like, I need to add more of these to my collection. Like these are so much fun. So this one is supposed to be like a light lilac without flash and then I believe it deepens into a bit of a darker purple. <laughs> So shining my phone flashlight, I'm not seeing it get a bit darker. I'll see how it works on the swatch stick though. Oh, this is so pretty. Even without the flash, I'm totally loving it. So flash or no flash, I love it. Okay, it's it's not as deep as i was thinking but it really is like flashy though and here we have flash grape in just regular lighting even without the flash this is beautiful and here it is with the flash as you can see it didn't deepen how i thought it was going to but it is super blingy though i still love it guys and here is grape flash a lovely lovely glitter as well okay and we are getting near to the end guys only two more after this <laughs> so this is such a fun glitter mix like you can see you've got some orange you've got some purple some lilac some green there's some like hollow glitter in here and it's a very fun multi colored it is a very fun multicolored hex glitter and it's got different hexes in different sizes so this one is called fiesta so this is such a bright and fun glitter mix absolutely perfect for the spring and summertime Ooh, you know what else this would be good for too? Easter. Just saying. And here is Fiesta. How fun is this glitter? Like, this is so much fun. And this is Fiesta against my skin tone. This is such a fun glitter. And it's not too vibrant. And you know what this would be good for as well? Easter. With all of the pastel colors and everything, this would definitely go great in a like cute Easter set. And the second last glitter I have to share with you guys is this very fun and bright green. This is Glow in the Dark Green. It is a green glow in the dark hex shaped glitter mix. And I love anything that glows. I think glowing gel polish glitters are so, so much fun. <music> And here we have the glow in the dark green like look how fun this is guys so i turned off my lights just to show you like the glitter in the jar is this not so much fun and here we have glow in the dark green so before i went and changed my battery because it was dying you could tell that the swatch stick wasn't as full i realized that i could have poured this glitter on like i did the finer glitters off camera so Anyways, I just wanted to show you like what it would look like if you did it that way. This is so bright and pretty. And here's glow in the dark green against my skin tone. This is such a fun green glitter. Oh, it's tripping off my camera now. You can really use it any time of the year. And the last glitter I will be sharing from part one of this glitter swatch and pour or pour and swatch, whatever, <laughs> is this opalescent hex glitter this is so pretty like opal is so gorgeous and my cousin she adores anything opal so if she watches this i know she's gonna like this one so this is just called glow in the dark hex 
and as you can see it is a funky hex mix and there are like a variety of sizes of the hex glitters unfortunately when i checked before filming this is no longer available guys i'm so sorry so again turned off my lights to show you this glow guys like look at how strong the glow is with this this is so amazing so much fun. Sorry, I love anything that glows in the dark. So again, for this glitter, I did get the majority of it in the bag. This one is a lighter glitter, it seems, but even with the amount, like, I was able to fill a whole jar. And here is a lights off shot of the glitter in the jar. Oh God, I love anything that glows. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is so much fun. <laughs> and here is glow in the dark hex. Such a beauty guys, like this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, opal glitters, you can never go wrong and can really revamp or upgrade a look. And here we have it for part one of my Glitter Boutique Canada haul. Guys, what did you think of the glitters that I shared? Do you have any favorites? Honestly, I love them all. But you guys will know Desire, which is the purple. Oh no, sorry. Dreamland, which is the purple. And the Glow in the Darks. Ooh, and the Chameleon Blue Aqua. And the Chameleon Teal Purple, those are actually my favorites. I'm not even going to hold you. I mean, the Great Flash Glitter too was nice, but those ones that I mentioned, they were like in the top, top favorites. So as always, guys, I'll make sure to have everything linked down in the description box for you. And I will link all the ones, but the one that's not available, which is the Glow in the Dark Hex. Sorry. As always, guys, thank you so much for sticking around and tuning into my videos. If you do know anyone that would enjoy this type of video, please go on ahead and give it a share. As always, do make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will get notified when I do post more content. And until next time, stay glamorous. Peace.